Hey there, we're Danielle and Nathan from Storm Chaser Games, and we had a problem. You see, I like music. And I enjoy playing cards. And then we had this great idea. What if we could find a way to combine these two completely opposite and seemingly incompatible interests? But then what we did instead was create this new game that we can both enjoy, and we called it... Philharmonic, the card game of playing beautifully together. It's the music game for people who like card games. The card game for people who like music games. And the game game for people who like game game. All right, let's show them how to play. In Philharmonic, you'll assemble a world-class orchestra. Bum, 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 bum. The cards are numbered 1 through 20, and they represent five different instrument families. Red brass cards. Yellow strings cards. Blue woodwinds cards. Purple keyboard cards. And green percussion cards which you'll play in front of you to make rows of musicians for your orchestra. Shuffle the cards and deal six to each player. But here's the thing, you can't play any of them. You only get to play the junkie cards your opponent gives you, but you do get to choose how to score them. On each turn, every player will pick two cards from their hand and pass them to the player on their left. Everybody plays at the same time. From the two cards you receive, you'll keep one in your hand and play one to your orchestra in rows. If you don't like either card you've got, you can instead choose to play one of them as an open chair. Just flip it upside down and play it to whatever row you want. Then, on a later turn, you can replace your open chair with a new and better card, keeping it in the same row. You only have one open chair in your orchestra at a time. Once you've played, just draw back up to six cards, then pick and pass again. Keep going like this until you have a row of three cards from the same instrument family in your orchestra. Once you do, it's time to score them. Each player will have these nine cards for scoring called score cards. You'll place one face down to determine how to score each row. Melody, score every even number in the row. Harmony, score every odd. Major key, scores every high number. And minor key, scores every low. Forte scores highs and lows. Chords score pairs. Crescendo and diminuendo score ascending or descending numbers. Staccato scores consecutive numbers. Once a player scores their fifth and final row or their 18th card, it triggers the end of the game. All players can play one last score card and that's it. Everybody flips over their scorecards and scores each row of instruments. Figure out who won each row. You'll use these letters to break ties. Whoever wins the most rows wins the game. And that's our game. It has the elegant simplicity of a classic card game. And the simple elegance of classical music. Philharmonic. Sounds amazing.